Okay, hello everybody. Uh, this is my first time uh, reviewing a food product. Uh, what we have here is Southwestern Fresca from a store named Aldi's uh, here in Leesburg, Florida. Aldi's is a very affordable grocery store. Uh, basically, I bought this uh, off of Impulse because the packaging looks so uh, appetizing. It says Southwestern Fresca and it's got whole wheat penne with corn, red and black beans, broccoli florets, bell peppers, carrots, red onions, and jalapenos in a creamy Southwestern style sauce. So it looks pretty delicious. It's equivalent to one cup of vegetables, they say, 10 grams of protein, excellent source of vitamins A and C, excellent source of fiber, contains 9 grams total fat per serving. Uh, steam cooks to perfection and it's got like a little plastic film over it because um, I've already removed it <clears throat> and they say not to puncture the film and when you microwave it, it steams itself, steam cooks itself. Uh, here we got uh, <clears throat> per package serving Calories 290, saturated fat 3.5 grams, which is 18% of your daily value, sodium 670 milligrams, 28% of your daily value, and 6 grams of sugars. None of that means anything to me. Well, sort of. The sodium means something because I have high blood pressure and I shouldn't be eating this because it's really got too much sodium. And I'm sure I've already <laughs> uh, reached my daily <laughs> value of sodium. Uh, probably twice over because uh, everything's got sodium in it and you really can't escape it. Same with uh, sugar, high fructose corn syrup, gluten, uh, you know all kinds of artificial dyes, uh, GMO, all that stuff. Anyway, serving suggestion, keep frozen, cook thoroughly, net, net rate 9 ounces, 255 grams, so I guess if you measure everything by the gram, that's useful information. So now here we go to the cooking and uh, guidelines. So these are not set in stone. I guess the reason why it's a guideline is it because if you want to cook it your own way, like in a skillet, then you can. Uh, keep frozen until ready to use for food safety and quality. Uh, follow these cooking instructions. Cook thoroughly to at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit before eating. I guess that's because, did I say it had chicken in it? Wheat, penne, corn, red, black beans. I don't see chicken in it. So, huh. Well, I guess there's a possibility that it could have bacteria, so I guess 160 degrees Fahrenheit is hot enough to kill the bacteria. Uh, do not leave microwave unattended. Okay. Why will someone steal it? Well, anyway, uh, promptly refrigerate any unused portions. Ovens vary. Cooking times may need adjustment. A microwave oven, 1100 watt. Now, that's probably standard. That's probably what I got. I don't know. Cooking and standing times are important for best results. Uh, meal self vents. Do not puncture or vent film. Okay, so that means it uh, releases its own steam. Uh, remove bowl from carton. Do not puncture or vent film. They just said that, so they said it again. Uh, number two, microwave on high for three minutes. The steam cooking process may make sounds. Okay, I guess maybe some people could be frightened from an unexpected sound. I don't know. Uh, three, excuse me, carefully remove bowl and gently shake contents back and forth to mix contents. Be careful. Do not overshake as some liquids may spill out and cause burns. And that's there for the litigatious people who are looking for any uh, available opportunity to sue someone. Uh, number four, return to microwave and cook for an additional 30 seconds to one minute. Let's stand for one minute, then carefully remove film from bowl. Use caution as steam releases from bowl. Stir and enjoy. Caution, do not use package in conventional or toaster ovens. Do not reheat the bowl. Okay, uh, I know that the bowl is plastic when I removed it, and I'm not sure who's stupid enough to put a plastic bowl in a toaster oven, but I guess there's probably a few people out there who are. Uh, double guarantee. 
replace the product, refund your money, www.aldi.us. So like I said, Aldi is a, is a real good store. I like them. They've got a lot of interesting stuff in terms of food. And I'm going to do a couple more uh, food reviews. And my next food review is going to be their gyro. Um, pro ac the actual proper pronunciation is gyro. So that's what I'll be doing next. Best before December 2015. Okay, so next stop, microwave. Okay, here is our southwestern frasca uh, after it's been in the microwave for three minutes and then uh, it's been sitting here for probably 10 minutes while I set up this uh, movie camera. <laughs> so obviously it needs to be reheated. But they say that after it was initially cooked for three minutes you're supposed to shake it. So here I go. Ah, that smells good. I can smell it. <clears throat> smell the peppers and I can smell the uh, southwestern sauce and there the seals are coming up a little so maybe uh, it's a little over overly rambunctious but I seem to get have gotten all of the southwestern sauce evenly in there and if not I can just probably take a spoon and scrape it and uh, mix it manually. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the microwave again for another minute. And then when it's done, I'll let you guys uh, know how good it tastes. Okay, one minute is over. And I'm pulling it out. And it is definitely hot. And I can feel the steam coming out. Kind of hard to do this one handed. Plenty of steam coming out. Okay. Obviously, it doesn't look as beautiful as the packaging, but I can tell you it does smell good. And I like the variety of the beans and the different ingredients in it. That seems healthy enough. I mean, of course, I wish it didn't have all that sodium. Scraping off some of that southwestern sauce. Right, I'm going to get rid of the rest of this package. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. Got a nice little big glop of it. Here I go. Mm. 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 Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, my first thought is it kind of tastes like mayonnaise, the sauce, with um, whatever it is that, that, that gives Southwestern sauce that unique flavor. I'm not like a food expert, but it's like a tanginess, um, kind of like, like maybe they add lemon to it or something. So it kind of tastes like <laughs> lemony mayonnaise, but... Um, but better than that, you know, to be fair, it's, it's better. Mm. I'm going to try it again. Overall, folks, I'd say it's not bad. I think that um, it's a good deal. I think about uh, two bucks I bought it. And I recommend it. So uh, go out and get yourself some... Southwestern Fresco. Over now.